uncertain and predictable manner. The meltdown of Afghan security forces and collapse of the Afghan government was as sudden as it was unanticipated. Yet, the transition occurred with, without any bloodshed, which certainly for my country is a matter of great relief. The prospect of a civil war, a protracted civil war, with a lot of bloodshed was our greatest worry. And fortunately, for the time being, it has been averted. The much dreaded mass exodus of refugees, fortunately so far, has not materialized. The impending human crisis and a possible with a lot of bloodshed was our greatest worry. And fortunately, for the time being, it has been averted. The much dreaded mass exodus of refugees, fortunately so far, has not materialized. The impending human crisis and a possible economic meltdown pose two of the most urgent and formidable challenges. And the transition of Afghanistan from, an, from a country dependent upon foreign, ex, foreign aid and an economy, a war economy, transition from that to a sustainable economy is going to be another huge challenge. Excellencies, at this moment, there are two stark choices before the international community. Enhance engagement or abandon Afghanistan. And we all know after the Soviets' withdrawal in 1989, when Afghanistan was abandoned, the consequences the people of Afghanistan suffered. Instability in Afghanistan, as rightly pointed out but by one of our great poet, the great Alama Iqbal, it impacts the entire region. And stability in Afghanistan will benefit the region as a whole. Abandoning Abandoning Afghanistan could take us back to an unstable situation resulting in civil strife, negative spillover effect on neighboring countries, outflow of refugees, rise in terrorist incidents, drug trafficking, and transnational organized crime. Engagement, therefore, in our view, is the only way forward. The, the international community must approach the new rela reality in Afghanistan with a new perspective based on a realistic assessment and pragmatic approach. Our, our core collective interest has to be to help stabilize the security situation, prevent any renewed conflict, and prevent mass exodus. It is equally in our interest to ensure that Afghanistan does not again become a safe haven for terrorist entity. For this, the Taliban must take every measure to honor their commitments. The promise of an inclusive political structure should also be fulfilled. An inclusive political structure is vital for peace and national reconciliation is extremely important for sustainable peace. At the same time, attempts to demonize the Taliban and fuel internal tensions should be rejected. Such a myopic and unwise approach being adopted by some would only compound the challenges, not resolve them. Excellencies, the international community must reach out to re reaffirm their support and solidarity with the Afghan people at this cr critical juncture. Sustained international humanitarian assistance and e economic support will save lives and underpin stability. Allowing Afghanistan's frozen assets to be used for the welfare of the Afghan people will also be a step in the right direction. It would be prudent to handle these mat matters impacting the human condition in Afghanistan without politicization. Excellencies, being a immediate neighbor, Pakistan's cons consistent policy has been of supporting Afghanistan on its path of peace, progress, and prosperity. 
we steadfastly supported the Afghan peace process and always maintained that there was never a military solution. At the same time, we underlined the imperative of an Afghan-led and Afghanistan, Afghan-owned political solution. Under the new situation, we have remained constructively engaged. We kept our borders open to facilitate regular movement and let bilateral as well as transit trade flow. We have dispatched several plane loads of food and medicines to help address the humanitarian needs of Afghans. Pakistan remains fully committed to a stable, sovereign, and prosperous Afghanistan at peace with itself and its neighbors. Excellencies, the SCO and the CSTO naturally have a vested interest in secure borders, a region free from terrorist threat, and an enhanced economic integration and connectivity. So today, let's all work in tandem to assist Afghanistan on its way to peace, stability, and prosperity, and pray, let us all pray, that the people of Afghanistan will finally, after 40 years of strife, see peace and stability. Thank you.